Here we go. Spirit fingers, and let's roll. Are you considering switching your career to cybersecurity? Maybe you've heard about the amazing growth potential, or maybe you just want a better way to apply your existing IT skills for a better career. Perhaps you just want a better salary. No matter the case, I'm here to tell you that it is a great idea. How do I know? Well, I happen to help professionals earn six-figure cybersecurity careers every single day without IT certifications or college degrees. Does that sound interesting or what? Well, if so, I invite you to stick around for the rest of this video so you can learn how you can get one of those six-figure careers yourself. Boom, intro done. Hey, and welcome back, cyber heroes. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Boyd Clewis, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help IT guys upgrade their jobs into a six-figure cybersecurity career. All right, guys, so let's get started. So one common misconception when it comes to IT and cybersecurity is people think that it's all about hacking. And if you follow me for any number of time, I pride myself on being a cybersecurity expert specialist and I don't know how to code. You know what? I take that back. Usually I would say I don't know how to code, but last week I was working on some APIs and I taught myself a little something, something. But that's another point. Anyway, I have never had to code for any of my cybersecurity positions, but yet I've had positions at some of the largest companies in the world making six figures and beyond. And I want to give you that insight so you can do the same. So number one, throw out the notion that you need coding, throw out the notion that you need college degrees or IT certifications, because I don't have a college degree and all the IT certifications I have, let me let you in on a secret. The company that I work for paid for them all. Paid for them all. Okay, so here's what you need to understand. There is a space in cybersecurity that's called GRC. Governance, risk, and compliance. Every business needs this. So the way you can think about GRC is, imagine that you're driving on the highway and the speed limit is 75 miles per hour. If you're in Texas, that means that you're probably driving 100. But the speed limit is 75 miles per hour, right? That is the policy, that is the law. Well, you might have a radar cop on the side of the road clocking people to see exactly how fast they're driving. What he's doing is he is governing everyone's speed to make sure that they are actually following the policy. And so if you are driving 85 into 75 and he flags you and pulls you over, you're not compliant with the speed limit and therefore you get a ticket, right? So this is the way it looks like inside of businesses. There's policies, procedures, industry regulations, government regulations that they have to follow. And if they're not compliant with these regulations, they get fined. Well, instead of getting a little traffic ticket, these companies get fined millions of dollars. And depending on how much revenue a company has, these fines could completely cripple a company. So those challenges become opportunities for you to take your career to the next level. So some of the roles where you can take advantage of these opportunities in GRC is roles like compliance analyst, business analyst, GRC analyst, risk analyst, cybersecurity analyst. So I want you to expand your horizon on what you think cybersecurity means. So if we translate this over into the IT world, it looks something like this. Let's say that company A has a password policy that requires passwords to have a minimum length of 12 characters and the passwords must be changed every 45 days. Now you as the GRC analyst, you have this policy. And so what you would do is you would meet with the system administrators and have them show you their password configurations. And if they show you configurations that show minimum password length of eight and password needing to be changed every 60 days, you know that they're not compliant with the policy. So you would issue what's called a finding. And that finding would say password length and password maximum age is not compliant with XYZ policy. And then they would have to go and fix it. Now, if you are listening to me clearly, you will see the power in what I just told you. All right. So imagine getting paid six figures to review somebody's work and tell them what to go fix when it's not right. So what you have to understand is when you move into this space of GRC, those multiple cell phones, so like me right now, 
I carry two cell phones. Shout out to Apple, two iPhones. Back when I was working as a security analyst or working as an IT administrator, that second phone was the on-call phone. So when servers would break, I would get the phone call. We had system down issues, I would get the phone call. Broken applications, I would get the phone call. But when you're working in the GRC space, you cannot audit what you implement. Therefore, you're not going to have system access, which means no on-call responsibilities because you can't do anything. So again, imagine getting paid six figures plus, tell people what to do, what to go fix, and never be on call. This is this hidden industry that most people overlook because the industry in Hollywood has hyped up all this hacking in cybersecurity. Now hacking is a part of it, but it is not required for every single role. So again, these roles that I'm telling you about in governance, risk, and compliance can literally get you paid six figures and beyond without the college degrees, the certifications, or all those technical skills. You just need to understand the principles of auditing. Which brings me to my next point. Where can you learn these skills? Fortunately for you, ISACA, which is the governing body for several auditing and security certifications, they just opened up a brand new training for people making the career transition into IT and cybersecurity through an entry level auditing certification. Now, what I want you to understand is I'm not advocating for you to go get the certification. I'm advocating for you to go get the training. Once you get the training and you apply those principles and you're able to speak to these audit principles, it's going to be easy for a company to pick you up and hire you as a internal auditor or a cybersecurity analyst. Because truth be told, it doesn't matter what the title is, it only matters about what you're gonna do in the role and the money that the company is going to pay you. Now, I'm not exactly for sure how much that certification and the training is gonna cost, but I can tell you, whatever it is, is gonna be worth it. Because you can make this career transition without needing any extra experience or anything by just migrating into the GRC space. And so what I recommend that you do to check out some of these opportunities, you can go over to LinkedIn, you can go to dice.com, you can even go to Indeed, and you wanna type in words such as security auditor, or GRC, or compliance, or governance, and you'll get search results with a whole bunch of high paying jobs that don't require a bunch of these certifications that these more technical roles would. And so that's how you can make an easy transition. Hey guys, we made it. Short and sweet, just how I like to roll. So now you know how to make the transition into cybersecurity, regardless of what industry you came from. So my question to you is, were you aware of GRC? Did you think cybersecurity was all about hacking? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're looking for an opportunity to connect with myself and thousands of other IT professionals that are on this journey to make it into cybersecurity, I invite you to join my private Facebook group, which is called the IT Authority. Inside of this group, we share tricks, tips, and strategies to help you launch a profitable cybersecurity career. And it's free to join. Click the link in the description to get access to it. Hey, if you found value in this video, before you head over to the group, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content to help you take your career to six figures and beyond in cybersecurity. That's all for this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. I help IT professionals earn six figure cybersecurity. Re <laughs> I gotta speed this up. It's too slow. Okay, so let's. No.